different methods on removing a chimney and how to support the up, upper, upper addition. So if we've taken the bottom floor out and we're taking out this, this floor, we can generally say you have, to, you have to get a structural engineer to do this. So we have to, the first the first procedure is is get a structural engineer to come out, do a, do a site survey, and he'll basically see how tall it is on the top of the roof, work out a rough load. So the more you take out, the lighter the support has to be because the less weight there is to support. So as again, if this is just above the ceiling in the bedroom, there's only the, there's only the bit that we can see above there. So from this brick here up which is still a lot of weight, but we can use what's called gallows brackets. So option number one, if it's on a two story and it's going in the loft space, option number one is something called a gallows bracket. So again, a structural engineer will do your little pretty drawing and it's basically just a big shelf bracket. It's made out of angle plate, about five mil thick, this particular one. So this goes one side, so when we remove, so it's made for the thickness of the brickwork. So as you'll see from here, and I'm hoping you can see this, ah, this is hard to do. The length of there is the thickness, Luke. Can you see that is the thickness there of the, of the chimney. So it's going to cover all. And as you can see, it would sit on the wall like so put in place of this brickwork here, so it would sit there, and then these holes would be drilled into the brickwork and some resin bolts would be put in, and then the same would happen to there, on this side. So it's literally just two brackets, one each side on the brickwork. So there you go, so, so for more clarity, that's how it fits to the wall. And we would fit one here, but obviously in the loft, so we would remove this brickwork and fit one there, fit the other one on there, so that's holding the sides. So ooh, this, this might give you a better visual representation. So you imagine if that's stuck on the wall, any of the brickwork beneath it isn't needed now because this is holding the weight. So that's probably a better visual representation. We then get this another bracket, which is on the floor there, do it this side, so again, same thickness as the chimney, fix it to the wall, and then once they're in place, we go and get that gigantic big piece of uh, flat plate, which is this, and that sits on top. So the idea is that we've got something that carries the weight of all the bricks all the way around. So that plate is the, 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 the length from there to there, from brick to brick. And that's basically it. And once that's actually been fixed into the wall with some mechanical fixings, we can then remove all the brickwork beneath it. All this comes out. And that's it, folks, it's that easy. But that's how you support, or one way that you support a chimney. Another way is using a steel, so, but I'll do that in a different video. So this video is how to take out a chimney using gallows brackets that have been designed by a structural engineer. And the reason they have to be designed by a structural engineer is to make sure that they've been they're the right gauge thickness to carry the right amount of weight. And once you've done it, you also need the building control to come out and sign it off. And they will ask to see the drawings from the structural engineer to make sure that it's proper. So there's no cheating and it makes sure it's safe for people. Okay. Also, another thing that you've got to consider when taking a chimney out, as in this one behind me, is the importance of the structural integrity of the wall that you're removing it from. So, I'm going to draw you a little diagram in here to try and understand what I mean. So if it comes along there, up there, So if you can see my little drawing there of a castle, this could be the front door. And what this is, is this is one chimney, this is the second chimney, and then this is your living room space down there. So I'm gonna come back to this diagram in a minute. So the, thing, the, the reason that we have to do something called 
the party wall is we need to let the neighbours know next door what we're actually doing and on these old terraced houses it's literally the other side of that one brick there will be next doors so it's only one brick thick so it's very very thin so with that in mind we're going to be removing this chimney so like i say we serve the party wall it's to inform the neighbor that we're removing the chimney because if you think that we're taking this down to the floor like that all the way down so then what we're doing is making this a box we're essentially making that because we're removing these two chimney breasts here but when you remove them two chimney breasts in brickwork when we have corners this is actually acting as like a support because next doors is doing that because it's shared Do you understand so again this is the living room you've got your settee here You've got your TV there, you've got your chimney breast, chimney breast. Well, next door's got their chimney breast because it's a terraced house, like that. So if we remove one chimney here and here, that side still got corners. So that's acting as like, them two chimneys next door are acting as like some sort of strengthener for that wall. So when we do a party wall, it's also, it's also telling neighbors that we're reducing the structural integrity of that wall. So that if they ever have to, have, they decide they want to take their chimney out, all of a sudden that wall is just a straight line of one one single brick which I'm not saying it's wrong but it then weakens it so it's it's about notifying of the structural integrity as well as what work we're doing on it and that's why you need a party wall so it's to let them know and also so they can make educated decisions in the future if they want to remove their chimney their side that that wall is now just a single brick and there's other things to consider that, for instance, if there is gaps in the mortar, and for instance, next door um, is actually using a gas fire, inside that chimney will be a flue liner, which is just basically a big aluminium sort of pipe where the fumes go up out the top. But if that was not in there, or if that was damaged, the flue liner, and you've got holes in here, there's nothing stopping the fumes going up next door's chimney and finding its way in here, which I'm not saying it would, it's very, very rare, but it could create carbon monoxide poisoning inside this side of the property. So it's always important to make sure that you've sealed off all the little gaps when you remove these chimneys to make sure that next door's is sealed. So little tip, that's all it is. But it's just something else that we need to um, think about when removing. So it's a structural engineers for the gallows brackets. It's building regs to come out and check to make sure it's right and it's also issuing a party wall notice to next doors to tell them that you're carrying out some work, you're removing the chimney so that they know. So if they ever decide to make, remove their chimney, they know that they're weakening the structure of the wall between, between the two houses.